Hey guys, Sebastian here with the July update. Uh, there's a lot of stuff that happened in the month of July, and actually a lot of it's not really covered in the roadmap. And so I want to give you guys kind of like the background and information about what IOS Kid and Murgo and everybody's been up to uh, in the month of July. There's a lot of really exciting stuff. So first of all, let's get right into it. Uh, update 1.3. Uh, was finished. All the code's been finished. Uh, it's been going through QA. Uh, should be released in the month of August. And this update, uh, it's mostly focused on network improvements. So it should be faster block syncing, all this kind of good stuff. Uh, that being said, uh, we're actually leading up to the big update, which is update 1.4. And it's kind of like the renewal update. This is where, uh, I mean, whenever you're writing code, uh, what often happens is you have a first version. And after you've made the first version, you go like, oh my, we learned so many things. Uh, so there's so many things we could do better. Now we have all this domain expertise. And then you want to kind of like a remake it except better. And that's kind of what's been happening, which is why over the past months, uh, IOSK has been releasing a lot of technical specifications about how to do coin selection, how to build a wallet, how to do networking, uh, how to do all this kind of good stuff. And they've taken all this knowledge and used it to kind of uh, build this version 2. And this version 2 uh, is actually called version 1.4 and that's kind of the Byron uh, re-release, I guess, if you will. And so, uh, why is it so important? I mean, first of all, obviously there's going to be a lot of improvements that come with this. You know, they've remade the API, the wallet, the networking, block storage, whatever, all this kind of good stuff. Uh, but also, this has been like a requirement for a bunch of stuff down the road, right? So to have like hardware wallets, to have uh, light clients born data lists, all this kind of stuff, uh, it's all uh, waiting for update 1.4. So if you're not excited about all the great stuff that's coming 1.4, you should be excited about all the great stuff that 1.4 allows us to do uh, going forward. Uh, and so that's kind of the exciting change uh, that's coming up uh, that later this year. Uh, as IHK has been doing this, uh, they've also been working on a parallel stream uh, it's called Prometheus, which is the uh, re-implementation of uh, Cardano except in Rust. And so it's kind of a competing client, if you will, and that's been uh, doing some great progress. Uh, Prometheus is going really great. Everybody's really happy with it. Uh, actually, other companies have started looking into Prometheus and started bailing off of this. So there's a few projects uh, starting up in the Cardano ecosystem uh, outside of both Emergo and IOHK. So it's exciting to see uh, everybody enjoying uh, the development that's been going on and we're growing our ecosystem. And so uh, for 1.3, there's like some change logs, but it's not uh, anything special, I guess. It's just the network improvements, like I mentioned. So what, are, what have we done other than this, right? Uh, actually quite a lot of stuff, right? So one thing is that the delegation uh, paper is done. Uh, they've now looking for uh, conference submissions. Uh, to try and do some uh, peer review and present it to more people. Uh, besides the delegation uh, paper, there's also a delegation specification, uh, which is near completion. That's what I've got on screen right now. And as you can see, this thing's like uh, pretty big, right? We've got over like uh, 40 pages, I guess, or almost exactly 40 pages uh, describing the delegation scheme inside Cardano. So this paper, or I shouldn't say paper, this, this specification is almost done. There's a few sections that still need a bit more work uh, but this has been like a huge uh, work in progress for a long time and it's great to see it finally come to fruition. And it's like one of the big things uh, that we've needed uh, for the uh, staking testnet that should be coming out later this year. Uh, some other great stuff that we've been working on. Uh, uh, IHK has been doing a lot of research in the past few months over doing uh, cross-compiling uh, for Linux. And hopefully uh, with more work, we should be able to have a Linux release uh, with every Windows release. That's kind of the ideal situation. So as you know, we've had uh, one Linux release in the past uh, for one of the Cardano versions, maybe 1.1. I forget which one it was exactly. Uh, but since then, there have been no other Linux releases. So if you're a Linux user, you've had to like kind of go back and use an old version, which is not ideal. Uh, so I've just been doing research on this, uh, trying to improve their stack to get more uh, cross-compilation. Uh, action going on to get a better uh, Linux version. So this is exciting for anybody uh, who's not a Windows and Mac user. Uh, other than that, uh, IOSC has been working hard on a proof of concept for an app platform inside Daedalus. Uh, they've been uh, working on the first proof of concept for this, and if you don't know what this is, this is essentially uh, increasing ecosystem 
uh, of Daedalus, right? So when you uh, open up Daedalus, you'll have your Cardano wallet, uh, but you could also have, <coughs> sorry, like either plugins or whatever inside it, possibly maybe like third par parties uh, and extensions you could download into the application. This is really exciting. This is kind of opening up the ecosystem for more people. And it's going to be great to see how this proof of concept uh, moves on going forward. If you're interested in the uh, app platform, uh, there's an update about it every week on the weekly technical report. Even more exciting than this is the Yella testnet that we've released. Uh, so Yella, as uh, some of you may know, is a new uh, VM type uh, for uh, built specifically for blockchains based on the great research uh, that was done for LLVM. This is out of the University of Illinois with their partners at Runtime Verification. Uh, this is one of the most exciting updates, I think, in the smart contract space in blockchain in a long time. So this was released a few day <coughs> days ago. If you go check out uh, the Cardinal Testnet's website, you'll be able to set up the yellow uh, testnet. Uh, there's a bunch of documentation on it. Uh, there's a bunch of videos on explaining you to you how to use it. There's even like a FAQ kind of style what is yellow, what it, why is it different uh, from the EVM, how is it different from uh, the KVM, all the kind of good stuff. It's a very long document, but if you're interested in all these like uh, details of building compilers and virtual machines, uh, you'd love to check it out. I'm sure uh, I'll be spending a lot of my time this weekend uh, delving into yellow and see what's happening. So now Cardano has like a two test nets uh, released. There's the yellow and the KVM. On the KVM side, there's a great project project that's uh, been uh, announced, uh, which is uh, K-Lab, and you can see it on my screen right now. And what is K-Lab? It's a way for you to uh, essentially write your smart contract, and then you'll have the specification uh, at the top left. And as you've got your specification running, uh, you can see uh, your code on the right-hand side, and you can kind of debug through your code to see exactly where the errors are in your Solidity code. So this is like a really exciting tool. Uh, it's been developed by Dapp Hub. So I'm really excited to see come, uh, this come out. Uh, and if you want to play with it, I'm not sure if the download is up already because this is still better software, uh, but it's gonna be really exciting to play with this in the KEVM testnet. So it's great to see we're making progress on getting this testnet also uh, as great as possible. Speaking of testnets, there's a third testnet coming out, uh, which is the Shelly testnet. Uh, and as you can see from this pull request over here, there'll be a testnet for a general Cardano settlement layer uh, coming out on the 1.3.1 update. Uh, so we're not quite there yet. Uh, we should be here uh, possibly in August, possibly uh, next month. So this is also really exciting uh, for anybody who's been wanting to develop on Cardano but has not wanted to use Relata for various reasons, will now have a proper testnet coming up. Uh, so that'll be like a third uh, Cardano testnet uh, so, you know, we're just cranking out these uh, test nets uh, as we're building up our main net also. So this is a really exciting. Uh, and if you're interested in all these practical things, then maybe you're also interested in some of the theoretical stuff uh, that IOHK has been working on. Uh, for example, one of the things is they've been doing more work on secure multi-party computations. And they had a presentation about this at the University of Buenos Aires uh, not too long ago. So that's kind of one of the research tracks that's been going on. Uh, likewise, in the month of July, uh, Edsco uh, published the self-organization coin selection uh, blog post, as you can see over here, uh, describing the coin selection algorithm that will be used inside Cardano. So this is a very interesting read. If you haven't checked it out, I'll be sure to make a video on this in the future. I haven't had time to make a video yet, uh, but this is really exciting stuff. Actually, like uh, we have the uh, technical specification, as I've made a video about before, we now have the coin selection uh, algorithm, algorithms that are described in this blog post, and iOS K engineers have now actually started uh, adding this into the code base. So we've started uh, changing the code uh, to kind of add some of this stuff in. And when I mentioned the delegation paper in the uh, previously in this video, actually we've already started changing the code uh, to reflect uh, the findings inside the delegation research. So all the code is is moving along, uh, following the research that's been. Uh, happening. We also have two other papers, or I shouldn't say papers, I should say technical specifications uh, that are progressing really well. One is a uh, document on the rule based specification of blockchain logic. So you can see this document is already up to 25 pages in length uh, describing uh, various stuff about blockchain logic 
in Cardano. So this is also really good uh, to make sure we have all the uh, code organization uh, well sorted, well understood uh, from a theoretical perspective as we get uh, closer to, uh, for example, the Shelley uh, release. Uh, similarly, we've also got a Cardano on the wire specification that's also been in the works for a while, uh, describing uh, technically how uh, all the Cardano uh, primitives will be sent over the wire for networking. So this is part of like the larger networking research that's been going on in Cardano. Uh, and I'm sure this networking research will be going on for the next few years uh, as we keep researching ways to make the protocol better, more efficient, and deploying that into code. So that, that's kind of all the stuff that's been going on for the month of July. Hopefully this has been an educational update and hopefully you're as excited uh, for the future of this project as I am. Thank you.